Now, what's cool about what we have going on here is that we are really looking for you guys to s send us twit pics, any pictures that you take of any celebrities in and out of the Twin Cities, any sightings whatsoever. We're going to put it up on the site. And if we uh, happen to be very uh, timely, we will also talk about it in the show because we want to cover what's important to you guys. And we'll put anybody on ice. Perfect. Well, when we come back, we'll let you know what is happening in and around the Twin Cities with our very own socialite, J.D. I've got it covered. And also, uh, we will be talking with the uh, celebrity, Twin City celebrity, who's been in broadcasting over 20 years. And he'll be telling us what it's like to work with Eric Perkins from Care 11. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back to the show. Next, we have J.D. to let us know what's coming up in and around the Twin Cities this next week. JD, what's Thank happening? You. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> Hello, Twin Cities, and I just want, before we get started, I want to thank everyone for tuning in on this first show and for putting up with our little technical difficulties in the first show. Thank, we just are very appreciative, I think, about mm -hmm. tuning in, so thank you for we watching. We did receive some tweets saying that there was no audio in the commercial break. We'll figure that out. We'll get it worked out by next week, so. <laughs> in the meantime, let me tell you about uh, a segment we're going to be doing every week that I will be hosting for you guys. Um, these are what I will call JD's ice picks. So if you have, if these will be the iciest events around the Twin Cities. So icy. So icy. <laughs> so icy. The, I'm bringing the word back. That's what I figured I would do. Yeah, you go, go for it. Yeah. yeah. So these so are. I think it's cool. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the only one that laughs at my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> These are the icy events around the Twin Cities. Um, my picks. If you have an event that you're going to be hosting in the Twin Cities that you think I should cover on the show or attend, please email me, JD at the Ice Pick. At ice Pack, excuse me. Um, you can also tweet us at theicepack.com. Or Ice Pack, I should say. So, first and foremost, let me say that tomorrow night, I'm actually very excited about this for everybody that loves R&B, especially a little bit older R&B. Tank will be in town tomorrow night. Well, Tank! Hey. Yes, All I'm right. very excited about this. Uh, Tank's performing at the Poor House, which if you guys are familiar, is the old Spin Nightclub Lumber Exchange building. Yeah, so they've changed Cream. It. Yep, it used to be Cream Nightclub, exactly. A couple blocks away from Studio 24, where we're broadcasting not, right now. Exactly, not far. So, the old, uh, the old Spin Nightclub, which is now the Poor House, it's very very beautiful inside. I've had the chance to check it out. They have Tank tomorrow night. Uh, doors open at 8 o'clock. It is a 21 plus show. No, no, it's Four House P O U R, not Four House. Two O's. Four. <laughs> four. There's a difference. Because I looked up Four House and it was on the total Yeah. Yeah. Bring a couple dollars with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> uh, it's a 21 plus show, though. Insert sigh of relief here for all of us that are tired of going to 18 plus shows. Now, you know what I like about that place? Like, I, I checked it out the other day, and what's interesting is uh, you go upstairs mm -hmm. to the second floor, and there's a bar, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a bookcase all around secret it. Door. And there's a secret door. Yes. And I didn't realize it. I was, like, watching people flow <laughs> in and out of Fall the wall. I was, like, like, like all of a sudden, like, I was, like, whoa, where did that person come from? Like, where is the, like, because yes. they, like, what's going on the door? That's all I'm on. The, I'm going tomorrow. I'm yeah. going to find out what's come going on the door. Come with me. Would you like to be my date? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. When a tank comes and talks to me, please, five steps back. <laughs> so, you know, right? yeah. Yeah. I'm, cool with I'm a good thing girl too, just so you know. Right. But, uh, but, but tomorrow night, like I said, tank, 8 o'clock. Um, the VIP, sitting, the seated VIP is sold out, but there are general admission tickets. There is also VIP tickets still available. You can buy them at the door starting at $25. And for our viewers out there tonight, uh, So Classy Entertainment and Next Level Entertainment, the two groups putting this on, they have given us a pair of tickets to give away to our viewers. So, oh. Oh, yes. So lucky viewers. And JD's got the hookup. Um, go to Twitter right now at the Ice Pack. Retweet us with the hashtag Tank Ice, and at random we will pick one person that will get to go to the show tomorrow night with a guest. So, and I will also be there covering this event, and I'll have it up on theicepack.com Friday morning. So if you see me out tomorrow night, definitely say hello. And you'll take pictures of our winners and everything, so we'll verify exactly. that we will have some winners there. Yes. And you know, hopefully I'll take a picture of Tank, too. I mean, uh, you know, I'm just saying, don't get in the way. Okay. You probably won't even have a Tank. Put a damn shirt on, Tank. <laughs> so, uh, next up on my icy picks is on Saturday, it is the second annual Midwest Tomato Fest. This is an 18-plus event. I'm Downtown. very... Very excited about this. Yes, yeah. it's actually also a couple blocks here from Studio 24, uh, 395 Portland Avenue South. 
Uh, you can also go to MidwestTomatoFest.com for more info. So, they Jamie, have... got a question for you. Yes. Who is the one person that you would like to take to the Tomato Fest and throw a tomato at? Oh. I'm sure a it's a question. big line of people that you'd like to throw hey, tomatoes at. No, I don't know. I mean, I make friends, but I, maybe my brother. I don't know. He's been oh, on my, okay. He's been on my uh, X list. You know, like, <laughs> um, but no, I would love to take a tomato. Greg, who would you take to the uh, I can't think. I can't think. My ex girlfriend, Jasmine Pepperschmidt. Yeah, you're, yeah, I'm going for you, right there. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm turning my phone calls. I made on the face. Well, you know what? They do advise to bring your goggles, though, so I guess it gets a little bit rough out there. Um, they have over 3,000 tickets already purchased for this event. Um, there'll be 250, no, 250,000. That's right, 250,000. Tomatoes will be wow. at tomatoes. this event. That to go to this. I like tomatoes. I think the whole ice pack should go actually, yeah. right? So um, th these are spoiled tomatoes. Also, I would just like to know the Tomato Fest is very uh, Midwest Tomato Fest. Would like everyone to know these are spoiled tomatoes from around the country. They would have been thrown away anyways. They use them for this fight. Portion of the tickets uh, to go to the Midwest Tomato <laughs> Fest actually go to fund Open Your Heart to the Hungry and Homeless. So it really goes for a good cause, okay. which I'd like to make note of that. So it goes nice. to uh, there'll be food trucks, uh, beer garden, live music. Get your tickets. Sounds like a fun event. Very nice. On Saturday, 1050 modeling launch and fashion event at the Chambers Hotel. Interesting. Uh, former Minnesota Vikings player Ray Edwards, who is now a defensive end at the, for the Atlanta Falcons. Put a damn shirt on, Ray. <laughs> but Ray yeah, don't have a shirt on right now. Anyways, uh, Ray is, uh, this is his. So the 1050 modeling launch is actually the brain child of Ray Edwards. Apparently he's really into fashion. Okay. Um, so it's a new website he's launching. It's a com community-based website where stylists, models, uh, fashion designers, anybody, photographers, anyone in the fashion world can be a member of this event and it's to interact and network and basically build one another's businesses. So, so and when is that happening? This is coming this Saturday, eight o'clock, Chambers Hotel. Um, I will say it's an invite only event. So if you head to the icepack.com we'll have information up on how you can get registered uh -huh. um, to head to this event. So they've got a, a fashion show, a style walk. Sounds like a, a very fashion fashionista type of event to be at. Doesn't wear right. his shirt. <laughs> How's he having a fashion show? He doesn't wear clothes. I bet he's gonna wear. I bet he's gonna wear a shirt and go I, I, I think he'll have to do that. I think he'll. I'm gonna put some money on it. You know, and and side note, <laughs> I actually will be judging the style competition. Oh. Uh, at that event on Saturday. So yeah. So follow you on Twitter and Instagram to see all the pictures. I'm sure he's gonna have a shirt on. I doubt that. Yeah, all right. Well, find out. Stay tuned. We'll see. We'll and uh, my last icy picks <laughs> for the week are Mill City Opera. This starts tomorrow. The Mill City Opera. There will be outdoor opera. Uh, running through July 20th. Now, I will say this is a sold-out event, but... Sold out? JD's got to hook up again. Uh, info on this. So the event is sold out. I did talk to Mill City Museum today. Every night before Mill City Opera begins, there will be up to 20 tickets available for sale at 25 bucks. You can't beat that. But you need to show up uh, at least 25 minutes beforehand to get those limited tickets. So, again, sold out. Insider scoop. Show up. There will be 20 tickets for sale before each event. Yeah, outside. Nice. It's outside. It's yeah. in the Mill City uh, Museum. Uh, Mill I was City. walking across the Starnes Bridge last night. Mm -hmm. Beautiful night downtown Minneapolis. And I could see through could the... It. Oh, yeah, you can hear it. Oh, and you can see um, everything going on. They have a huge act going on. So. If it does, it's if it rains, then won't... If, 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 it will, if it does rain, though, the event gets moved inside. So it is rain or shine. Okay. However, if it gets moved inside, there will not be tickets available at the door. So... Um, and then my last uh, last three events here, real quick. On um, Saturday, family friendly event. If you're going for cheap, this is free. Doesn't get any cheaper than that. You can go head over to Corcoran Park. Um, they will be showing the new release of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows 2. Starts just after dusk. Bring your blanket. Completely free to head over to that. Uh, for John here, major <laughs> Kid Rock fan, I will say that Kid Rock will be at Mystic Lake on at uh, Sunday this coming Sunday. Tickets seventy eight dollars. Starts at 7 o'clock. Are you going, John? I am going Mystic Lake. I'm going to be there. I will be tweeting from it. Okay. Follow me on Instagram, John underscore Marino. 
You can see all the inside scoop there. Uh, right. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, so give us the scoop on that. And uh, for anybody out there that yeah. thinks they have pipes on them and uh, can sing outside of the shower, I'm like, <laughs> uh, This coming Friday, July 28th, 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, you can start lining up at Taylor Sound, uh, and you can addition to be on The Voice. So maybe if somebody from the Twin Cities gets on The Voice, we'll bring them here on the ice pack and interview them. Oh, you know, I, I've seen a lot of people tweeting about this, talking about it, uh, saying that they're going to a, uh, audition? audition at the River Center in uh, St. Paul. And if anybody out there in viewer land, in the internet land, mm -hmm. uh, is going to be at The Voice, we want to see it. We're going to definitely post uh, any of your picks on our website at theicepack.com. We'd love to hear all the inside scoop on what's going on, what the judges are thinking and doing, and the produ producers. Well, good luck to everyone going to audition. I yeah. Know, that's brave. <laughs> it is. Very much so. Fantastic. Well, those are, so those are my icy picks for the week. Uh, make sure that you follow the Ice Pack on Twitter. All of our Twitter uh, accounts will be on there as well. So for in the individual events that we attend, you can follow us there. Tomorrow night, I will be at the Tank Concert, Saturday judging the 1050 modeling launch. And uh, if you have an event you want us to follow, email or tweet us in at the Ice Pack. Sounds good. There you go. Well, thank you very much, JD, for uh, filling us all in on what's happening this week. And I'm very interested to see how you do uh, judging the uh, contest well, on Saturday. Saturday. Hat on. So yeah. I'm trying to do a mix between Simon and maybe like a, a J-Lo or something friendlier. That's so why we didn't say power. All right. That so, won't be so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. That's great. That's great. Well, uh, <laughs> our scheduled uh, next commercial break would be uh, Mod Sun by 1323 Photography. We did all the great photography for all of our photos on the website and Facebook. However, due to some of our technical difficulties and some of the tweets that we received from you guys that we did not have the audio, we are going to just move right along into our next segment and introduce to you uh, somebody that we are very excited yes. to have as part of our first ever uh, talk show here. And this is a man who's been in broadcasting for over 20 years. You've heard him on radio, television. Uh, you learned Spanish from him <laughs> on Twitter. Uh, between him and, of course, Ricky Rubio. And, uh, <laughs> and learn his, the love that he has about the Twin Cities on Instagram as well. Uh, now we get to invite him into our studio at Top of Studio 24 in downtown Minneapolis. Uh, and he will tell us everything that he thinks the truth about Eric Perkins and Danny Starr. Please welcome to the show, Tony Fly. Hey! hey all right! I know usually it would, there would be a song playing right now for this, this awkward moment he's sitting <laughs> under the couch. Come over, Greg. So Why am I sitting next to Greg? Because, yeah. man, it's been so long. Greg? Greg used to work for me. He uh, did. He got his start uh, on, on my radio show. Mm -hmm. He was my intern, so he used to go get me. What did I drink back then? Just coffee, right? No, uh, no, it was coffee, but it was always bring the change back. It was right. Uh, uh, hurry the at back with my change, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good quote. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you guys doing? How's We're doing well. Anybody hey. watching? Anybody want? <laughs> is there anybody out there right my now? Auntie, so tweet yeah. us right yeah. now. Let, let know. Tony know. Yes, yeah, tweet uh, tweet uh, the T Fly on Twitter right now. Let me know if you're listening because if my phone doesn't start vibrating, I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> I'm three deep, but you guys are going late. We're supposed to start at 8 o'clock this, this evening, and ended up starting at like 8.45. Well, we know how radio time is, we all just wanted to make sure you'd show up on time. So that's I'm always what we did there. Okay, so what are we doing here? What are we talking about here? So, we, what we want to know from you, first, just to uh, introduce the, uh, the audience here. Turning the tables on the guy who's usually conducting the interview, tell us how you got started in broadcasting. Ah, uh, gee, what a boring story this is going to be. Um, let's see, I was seven years old. <laughs> my dad used to advertise, my dad was a, a stonemason, okay. and used to advertise on this little AM radio show called the Italian House Party. It used to come on, on Sunday morning. Where was this? In Westport, Connecticut. Okay. And he used to advertise on Sunday mornings, and only Italian people listened, and one time he, he wanted to go down and say hello to the host. Okay. Brought me down there. The host, just trying to be cordial, said, okay, well, when this song ends... I'm going to point to you. You hit this button to start the next song. Okay. So he, the song ended. Yeah. A little bit of dead air. He pointed to it. <laughs> I pushed the button, started the song, and from then on, I was I, I would hang out there every weekend, and I would just learn radio, and I started from there. I've never done anything else. Really? Yeah. 
this is it. I've just done radio. I've never, I've never had a side job. Never had, never worked at cash register. I've just done radio. That's amazing. Yeah.